Time to open Magic Mixlies. Let's see Mia Lana trying to open these Magic Mixlies Pixlings. I've never had a Magic Mixlies thing before that's... Well, I have had the uh, one of the mini ones, but I never managed to get around to the one big cauldron one, but... Thing as I'm collecting dolls, this seems more up my alley, so Pixlings is where we're going with. And so I started deciding to open this. I'm doing a bit of video editing here there. I might leave it where you can see me trying to open the dolls. So this is me trying to open them. Following instructions, the packaging took me so long to open, man. So I'll come back to talking to you a bit later in the video because you can see me struggling here. There's no point in me talking myself over, but I can say this is a liner from um, YouTube, Tumblr, TikTok, and whatever's left of Twitter, which is now being called X, which is weird. Um, so a lot of our dream, but on those platforms, so if you want to find me there, that's where I'm usually doing my publish, but I'm opening these Magic Mixing Pixlings. Took me a while just to open the first one, which was the mermaid one, so the blue gem, blue mermaid. And I'll leave you here and I'll come back and make the next part.
And this was where I managed to get the mermaid pixeling finally get out. <laughs> so she's finally been done. So that was the first one. As you can see, as the liquid's finally clearing, I probably didn't notice until like in a bit, and I was looking through the instructions until I realized it cleared. And then I had to figure out how to open the thing, because actually there's another bit of having to screw open, and so on and so forth. Next time, maybe if I get one of these, I might try to skip the whole thing, but then it's like, it's part of the experience, so. <laughs> It's part of its gimmick is to do the whole water thing with the liquids and powders and whatnot you so visible ink is what i think they used here for this i'm not sure but it was all the whole sort of process and then i had to figure out how to open the container but this is the first one is the mermaid one is the one i opened up so so monia or something i think is the name and actually there is a cartoon series for this actually up on Netflix for but it's for magic mixies at the moment but they are going to introduce magic pixlings up on YouTube there are the magic mixies pixlings are starting to pop up there are webisode episodes and then my phone dropped <laughs> so now we're moving on to our next one and this is me trying to open the next one and you can see it's a dark pink or purple some say it's purple though to me it looks like a dark pink I will leave you to watch me trying to struggle opening this one too and I'll show you the ingredients of what I've done to try and open it, so the whole gimmick. Unless you want me to talk through the whole thing. I still made a mess. I tried to get a bit better about making mess. I started slowly getting a bit better, but I didn't make as much mess with the second attempt as I did in the first, but I still made quite a bit of a mess, so I had to get things to clean up. And then I figured out how to get more water in the thing, because I realized I didn't need a bit more water. But I had to make sure I only got up just almost to the watermark line that they have on the bottle. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Watch ahead for the next bit. Because <laughs> I went off to get some water, so sorry if it's a bit of a long wait. I had to quickly go and get some water to make sure I had enough water for this. And then, here we go. I'm going to just start pouring in the water for this. Because it's the second ingredient. You first pour in your first potion mix then you, you really need to read the instructions for these things so sorry if I'm going a bit slow I'm trying to be careful still making a mess I chose something with a bit more better water collection though I still managed to get them a little wet in places so I have to be careful but managed to get it this far so we've got water next thing I'm opening up um yep getting one of the packets they come with this and this is the magic stardust 
But the first one, she has scales. The second one, when you get dust, you know you got the unicorn. So this is the one I'm opening. <laughs> so she gets dust. You got the unicorn doll here, which is Uni, I think her name is, or Uni? Is it Uni or Uni? I'm just gonna put unicorn girl. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with this. You can watch me putting in the rest of the ingredients. I'll see you near the end of the video, or near where the next one comes up. Okay. <laughs> And you can see I kind of got impatient waiting for her to come out, but there she is. The unicorn is starting to show up. Unicorn pixeling starting to show up. You really have to wait a minute for this, but I kind of got impatient, so I started taking her out of the bottle before she finished the thing. But I started unscrewing and taking her out. But as you can see, it's starting to get it's starting to get yeah. Anyway, so I'm getting her out of the container, screwing the lid off, and trying to get the doll out. So, because I wanted to make sure I didn't get her wet. <laughs> it's not easy to do, but anyway, I finally got her out of there, and I'm getting her out. And we're going to move on to the very last one in a minute. Hope you're having fun watching this, at least. You can skip bits, guys. I'm, I'm sure you, you can skip if you're getting bored, but if you're having fun watching, let me know. It's a bit of a long process trying to open one of these. <laughs> You have to be so careful. But at least it doesn't make as much of a mess like dying anything, so that's good. It comes out with any what it's like invisible ink, so that's that's the plus side of this. So at least 
Just make sure you have something that can collect a lot of water. And here she is. There's the doll. And now we're going to move on to our very last one out of the three. As I said, the butterfly hasn't shown up yet and neither has the bunny. And I have a feeling they're not coming out until like near actual Christmas. So probably late October is my guess. And I don't know which shop they'll show up here in Australia because we don't have Walmart. So my best guess is either it's a Target, Kmart, or Big W are your guesses. Who knows, maybe even Aldi because I do not know which one they're going to go in. But most likely they'll be in Big W, Kmart, maybe Target. We will see more of your chances of getting. So anyway, we're going... We're starting off with the elixir again, because that's the one you have to start off with. It will usually have a number two on it, because after you do all the opening of the stuff and you pull the little tag away there, not the yellow tag at the end. This one is like, so the packaging for the second. I'm going to be a bit more describing what you have to do. So you have the big packaging with a bottle looking on it and it says number two on it. You put that in there first. That's what I'm doing here. And I got a bit better with this one. Third time's the charm. I didn't make as much of a mess third time. Unlike the first two times, I made quite a bit of mess. <laughs> it was kind of fun though. Struggling of fun. I can see the gimmick of fun of opening one of these. I mean, it's part of the thing. It's all part of the thing is to open these things like that. So trying to get the whole thing, trying to make sure I get all of it in there. Didn't want to make a mess. I've just about been very careful this time. I'm a little bit better at it this time around and Next, water. I think I didn't get enough water at this time, so I went, I probably, yeah, you gotta pour your water in, and you can see I'm trying to make sure I have enough, but I might have run out of water, so I might have to go back out and get some. So you'll be seeing it sitting here for a bit and we can talk a bit, but you have to make sure you get up close to the water line, but don't go over the water line. You wanna just go up sort of close. Hopefully then you won't get your doll wet by accident, but most of the time you will not do that. So just make sure you get it up close to the waterline. Don't go over it is my best advice. Though I did have a bit of a mishap. I think I did go over it a bit. So anyway, I'm getting some more water because I have to make sure it gets to the waterline, but not over the waterline. So I might have gone a little bit further than I expected. I might not have paid enough attention to the waterline here. We'll see when I go and get the next batch of water. Oh, fun times, but it's actually a fun gimmick, actually, but I would rather, you know, where you just, um, tear things apart and stuff and then just had to shuck it, but that's me, so. Okay, and putting a bit more in. I don't know. Alright, yep. I think I got it the right amount, and then we're getting out our petals because... The dealing one is the one who has petals, whereas the other two, one has scales and the other one has stardust or dust to put in for that. So you, it's all di it's a little different for each doll that you're creating. I have no idea what the butterfly one is like, but I have a feeling that's a deluxe one. So you'll have it absolutely telling you on the bottle where, which one you're getting with that one. So I'll let you know when I have a chance to get it, if I have a chance. I promise mom I won't go too many more dolls for a while, so. Who knows how good I'm going to keep into that, but anyway, and then I'm just going to open this, I'm getting the petals out, somehow it all went to the top of the package for some reason, for some of mine, so I have to be careful when you're opening these because sometimes they go to the very top and you might accidentally rip the thing, so there's a little petal and I was putting some of them in, yep, putting petals in. Okay, so the next bit is, yep, thumbs up. We went well there, we managed to put all the petals in. Alright, this one is number five, as you can see on the packaging. This is the next step to put in there, you put number five in. I think that's the other solution. I might have opened it a bit too far up. Uh, I think it's how you open it, because I was a little too worried I was going to take forever and I was getting impatient. I wanted all of them out. There you go. I'm trying to put it in here without making a mess, but I might have put a bit in somewhere where I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> it's not easy, because this one I made a bit of a mess, this section. Not as easy as it looks, so I'm pouring it in as best I can, but I did get a bit on my fingers. But luckily, it didn't stain my fingers, which is great. <laughs> See, I had to clean it up a bit with a tissue. I was trying to make sure I got all of it in there. 
There's some of it's dripping. I'm trying to make sure I don't make a mess everywhere. So have tissues with you, man. You want to wipe up after you make a mess. <laughs> make it sure you clean as you go. All right. And then I have to get my last ingredient, which is rain antlers, I think. I think I might have ripped them a little bit without meaning to, because as I said, you have to be careful when you open these things and you might accidentally rip the little thing in it. So, cleaning up after yourselves too. Some of you guys probably might want to recycle these bottles as for Halloween gimmicks or for costume things, but I ended up shucking out the bottles later on. I'm, I'm terrible, sorry about doing that. It's like, I know that's part of the gimmick for some people, but I didn't really want to keep the bottles. I was more interested in the dolls. But, um, I think you can recycle them. And then you go, gotta go magic mix this. Press the button a couple of times. It says how to open it and screw up the lid, but first you have to do the whole thing. Press, turn the gem to a certain degree, and then you gotta press it a couple of times and call out Magicus Mixes, which is what I was doing here. Press, press Magicus Mixes while you're pressing. And then you have to wait a minute while you're doing it. So just keep doing it while you're waiting, and you know it's gonna slowly start popping up. It's gonna show up, is it? Yes, there she is. There is our dealing, our last one out of the three dolls. And I hope you had fun watching me try to open these <laughs> oh, with my many fail attempts. But it was fun. It was actually kind of fun. I can see some people really going for the gimmick. It was a fun little gimmick while it lasted. And then we got the doll out. There she is, and the liquid's mixed up. And then here are all the dolls. All three of the first three out of the series. The two deluxe ones haven't hit Australia yet. So I will let you know, or maybe make a little TikTok video about when I get that one out. But anyway, who knows when she'll come and if she comes to Australia. I have to figure out where she is and I'll have my luck. A friend of mine is gonna keep a double out eye out, but I appreciate you guys stopping by to watch this and um, give it a like if you like the video and uh, I hope you have fun finding these little dolls too. They're quite fun and they're quite cute. Thank you, bye. <laughs>